So actually, this is this is day two, actually, huh? Yeah, our day three, but day two of, of yeah. you covering the event. Hey, this is not a spring chicken. This is our day two of the Sundance Film Festival, day three for us for covering the event. And as you see, I have my tablet here, which just reminds me about what I did. Now, people always laugh. They're like, you take so many pictures. And I'm thinking, I don't take enough pictures. Because, see, when I take pictures, my memory is better. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> because without my, my pictures or with this, I would not remember what in the world I did. Because the days, let's just say, they stretched and stretched and stretched. On this one, um, I met up with my friend Cassandra. Um, who's an actress, and she actually came by the hotel. I was not quite ready. <laughs> In fact, I was not very ready at all, and she insisted. And I'm thinking, well, and she's like, I just have to go back to my place and drop off, um, pick up the keys and check in. So anyway, um, so she totally threw me off because, well, let's just put it this way. You're not ready for guests when you're still, like, walking asleep. <laughs> Fortunately, she was very patient. I realized when I told her I wasn't ready that I was not kidding. <laughs> I was not kidding at all. And she probably, it's like, I usually, I don't go out in public like that because. Well, it, really it was um, because the open day one party, we didn't get yeah. back until about, I mean, we stayed an hour longer than we had planned and mm -hmm. we didn't get back until about two in the morning. Mm -hmm. So after um, she picked me up, we did go into town to go to her place where she checked in and lucky for her, um, let's just say some things got screwed up and so instead of a really small place, she got a, a great big place um, with one other person. It was actually a place that would sleep 20 and there were two of them. No, yeah, we didn't do bad either. We had a two-room suite. Yeah, ours is a two-room suite, so we can't complain about that and we didn't have to share with anybody, yeah. which means no, this is really important, no unexpected guests, no sleeping on the floor, <laughs> no, and no picking all the stuff scattered everywhere up. Oh yeah, we didn't have to pick it up. Yeah, but the most important part was no unexpected guests because one of the things I found out at Sundance is all these people were like, "I'll sleep on the, I'll sleep on the the um, floor." We I'll had sleep. lots of that, mm -hmm. but we also had one other great thing because What's we were that? staying there. Who else was staying there? Who the the. The cast and crew of the, oh, uh, yes. the, I think, the Beast from the South. The Beast from the South. So we got a first-hand knowledge of the Beast from the South, from the cast and crew as to everything that was going and on. And if you think we're going to keep talking about it, we're going to keep talking about it because that was we, one of the we rode up and down in elevators with one another. We had breakfast with one another. We sat in the hallways having coffee and other stuff with one another. We were invited to go to Salt Lake City at 3.30 in the morning with them. So, yeah. They were very happy about the movie. <laughs> yeah, they, they were really, really excited. So that part was really cool. Oh, I guess it turned around. So after we checked in, we, the first stop was the Bertoli Meat Soup Chalet. And this was hosted by Jen Art. It was also known, see, this is the part that's different than L.A. Although I guess sometimes they do it. They call it all the same lounge. Everybody calls it theirs because they were like a co-sponsor. Um, it was also the Philadelphia Industry Lounge. So if you were checking, they're all at the same address. It's all for the same location. Yeah, and there's a reason why Sundance is held not in Park City per se. It's held in the historical district of Park City, mm -hmm. which is a lot. They're basically ancient buildings, and there's not much room in old architecture. Yeah, yeah, that's for <laughs> that's for certain. Um, but here's the cool part: is that the Bertoli um, Chalet place or Bertoli Meat Soup Chalet? You could go in at any time and have soup. Yeah, we're which is good here. because see what happens is. The restaurants, they, well, they have restaurants there. There's a long line and waiting and waiting and waiting. So this way, you can just, you know, pop in, have something to eat, and continue. Um, so when we were there, I got to see director Mark Weber there. He actually has three films at Sundance. So that was cool. So he was interviewed by Jen Art. So we got to see that um, at the first. They also had Tic Tac was there to shake it up. Um, Lumine, which you're going to hear about for facial and skincare, um, solstice, sunglasses, and water. Water's always really important. So that was kind of cool. And then we, had, what happens is you run into people, and you're networking. Then we went to Adida. Adida, I was really happy about because, oh, wait, 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 where's my, okay, you'll have to see my jacket. I'll bring it out for, I'll bring it out for tomorrow. 
Um, Adidas, I got a purple Adidas down jacket. Which was perfect for the weather. Totally yeah. perfect. Well, you know what I love is, I, I wasn't quite certain because I've never um, had one of those before, is it's really small, lightweight, compact. You can throw it in your stuff. I wasn't quite certain, so, and it was getting really cold. So I had it in addition to my fur, actually not a fur coat, a leather coat um, that I wore, and it just, it performed magnificently. But the Adidas people, the part I liked was, I think I knew Liz already, but one of the people that I met there, Caroline, I already met her previously before with Skull Candy, and she left Skull Candy, and she was doing some other stuff. So it was my chance to catch up with her because we, we you know, had a great time at events before um, when she was with Skull Candy. So that part was really cool. And we went to the Vivo Sorrel Lounge. Actually, I'm trying to think, what was the official name of that? Maybe it was Ciroc. And inside, um, it was Vivo Entertainment, um, Ciroc liquor and Sorel shoes. Now, see, here's the part is, is they took pre-orders for the shoes. Now, I really wish um, my feet would have appreciated this because one of the things, well, let, let me just say, they were giving away shoes for the cold weather <laughs> with treads. No, but they were pre-ordered. We, yeah. we did find out something unique about Sundance versus Hollywood gifting suites. Yeah, they're more like lounges um, where people go and they hang out and they pick up their stuff. Um, whereas in LA, the gifting suites are really a lot larger. They might have 20, 30, 40 vendors. Whereas the suites or the lounges at, um, <coughs> at um, Sundance will have a few major vendors. And after that, they're just, it's just small stuff, you know, like drink sponsors and, you know, things like that. But they do give you food, which is always good, and drinks. So the next thing I was supposed to do was a Shabbat, which unfortunately I missed our friend Gordon because, well, let's just say the internet's not always quite working and text messaging does not always work and we couldn't find an email. And we actually knew where it was at, but it was on the block right behind I knew it was on the, the block, uh, but I, I, I was trying to remember what number it I was. Know, we, and I didn't want to, because we looked at it the previous day, I didn't want to go knocking door to door and say, hello, yeah. is Gordon there? Yeah, you know. I was kind of tempted. <laughs> Nothing we could do about that. Hello, it was Gordon there. But then she many, she went to something else anyway, so. Well, we did. We did um, a lime green with Cassa with my friend Cassandra. And so we hung out and, um, you know, basically we're visiting. Because, see, one of the things that a lot of these suites do is they do your hair and your makeup, which is important because a lot of the people are doing pictures, um, which is really kind of, yes, important. Um, we then went to, because we were hungry, we had just missed our dinner. Now we gotta find food, right? And we had heard that it was gonna cost $150 for two to eat dinner. So we weren't real jazzed about that and the lines and waiting and all that stuff. So we managed to go back to Stella Artois, which is over at Village at the Lift, and had sliders and fish fillets and hors d'oeuvres and they had beer and water, yeah. which is very well. Here's also the big thing about the Sundance Film Festival in Park City. People don't realize that Park City is not where the festival is. Park City yeah. is a big, sprawling young community with fast food restaurants, with I other know, restaurants, with grocery stores, us. shopping centers. <laughs> you find out that after the fact. Mm -hmm. They weren't anywhere near us. And so the next, what we did was we met some of Cassandra's friends over, yes, in town at one of the restaurants because they were eating. And then we went, okay, I forget the name of it. It starts with a Q. It's on the left side of the street when you go up Main Street. And actually, it was really good. It was over by Silver or Sliver. Okay, sorry, don't have it. But, you know, everything was packed. And I'm certain all of the food was good. But the next part we went to, which was really cool, was we went to the extra TV party for the End of Love movie at the Canyons. And the End of Love movie is one of the movies that director Mark Webber had at Sundance. And this was the director, Mark Weber, that we had just seen at Gen Art earlier that day. And this was cool because um, at the canyons, <coughs> um, at the canyons we went there, we took a gondola up to... Oh, I remember that when you were really wild about that one. Up to the party. Well, you know, there's something kind of decadent. You take a gondola up to the party. It would set up kind of like a winter wonderland, all the 
lights were out. They lit up the Christmas trees in red and blue. It says the canyons. And over there, of course, we met Mario Lopez. Um, Kevin Sorbo happened to be personal friends who we interviewed before. But this is a way, this, this is great because they had a chance to meet Kevin in more of a, um, a casual friend setting instead of like, you know, it's a red carpet or it's an event. You're, you're meeting them with friends. So that was really cool. Also, Mario Lopez. He's everywhere. He was. In fact, it was really funny because we were getting ready to take the pictures. And we wanted somebody to take a picture of our group. And so the other people were busy. And then I turned and I said, can you take a picture? And it was Mario Lopez in his group. And I said, oh, um, Mario, that's okay. We'll get somebody else because he just happened to be the next one. I think he was really surprised that anybody asked him to take a picture of somebody else it, it, that he didn't know. Yeah. You know what it just dawned on me? He's becoming Bert Parks. Oh, Bert man. Parks, he's done a beauty pageant stuff, the hosting stuff. He is everywhere. He's an actor, he, singer, he dancer, is. everything. Oh, he is Bert Parks. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Um, but he was a really nice guy. I mean, I'd seen him later in the evening and he was waiting for some people. And I looked at him and I said, Mario, I said, you look like you're just waiting for some people. So can we just take a picture? <laughs> He also takes lots of pictures with people. <coughs> he does. But he was really cool. And then the guy from Ben from The Bachelor was also there, which the girls were going gaga over. And they happened to be in town because this week's episode of The Bachelor was from Park City from the Canyon Resort where the party was. Nice. So he was there promoting The Bachelor. Yeah. So he was really nice. And he, he was just really laid, you know, laid back and down there. And you knew, well, first of all, you know that they um, film it in advance, but you especially know that they film it in advance because if you looked at the, the show that time, there was no snow, and there were fall colors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that would be a really good indication that it was not done at that time. So, oh, 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 see, my, my tablet's the same. You took too long. We're going to switch you. No. You're going to have to make certain the tablet is set up for running longer. I know. Okay. So, then after that one, we went to another party. And you're going, oh my gosh. We went to the Jan Art Fresh Faces party um, back in town. Now, this is the same place where we had done the Bertoli Soup Lounge. So, here's the cool part is, is most of the stuff at Sundowns is up and down one main street. And then they have shuttles that take you all over the place, which actually works really well when the shuttles are ready. Well, it's really a great shuttle service. I mean, at, I'm looking like 16 miles out, they had shuttles. Yeah. Yeah, so that part was really cool. So the Gen Art Fresh Faces party. Now, this is the part that really kind of amazes me because a lot of times when they do gifting suites here, if it's for one day, um, you know, it's up and down in one day. Here, they're doing this suite slash lounge for multiple days, and they cleared it out for the party, which means everybody... The bar area was still there, but everything that was there, they took down for the party, and then the next morning they had to put it back up again. I know. Can you believe that? Actually, it's sort of like the Level Lounge in Las Vegas. It's a yes. Um, Where one day there's a party, and the next day it's another party, and the next day it's another party. I know. All with different things. <laughs> All different things. So, um, lounge by day, party by night. Lounge by day. Like, oh, why? Yeah. Now, I don't know what time the party went to, all I knew was that I needed to get to the shuttle stop before 2.30. Yeah. Yes, 2.30 really a.m. She's over there in a corner when I showed up. And they said, well, why wasn't he doing it? Because I was busy talking to people all the time. Uh -huh. I don't do interviews. I don't do gifting suites, but I do talk to lots of people. But I do have to hand it to some of the people, because some of the people from L.A., they were doing interviews on their carpet. Yeah, yeah it was still outside. Yeah, it was a little bit sheltered. But it was snowing, yeah. and they were doing interviews on a carpet. They, and they probably never seen snow. <laughs> I just got to hand it to them because you would not want to find me out there doing interviews in the She snow. came back as a popsicle that night. I was. So anyway, this was, what day was this? It was day we two. This was day two of the festival, yep. our day three. <laughs> 